Uh, welcome back everyone in this video tutorial about uh, uh, auto battlers and this video we're going to build the camera character so I was initially thinking about building some kind of RTS uh, control scheme but uh, actually <coughs> excuse me but actually you don't need that in an auto battler since your camera is static uh, but we're going to need a camera anyway so we're going to open up our mm, battler camera character and we're going to add to add a camera I'm wondering whether or not to use character I think we don't we don't need a character so we're going to close that character and delete it and we're going to create a new blueprint class a new pawn which is going to be our camera character so auto battler camera character we're going to open that up. We're going to add a camera. We're going to add a spring arm. We're going to put the camera on the spring arm uh, and put the camera. So I have controls, I have hotkeys to switch from control scheme to others. Uh, Q puts the translation, W the rotation, and E the, the scale. And then I have. Um, um, spacebar to switch from world to relate to relative uh, transform so we want our camera to be angled like that for instance we want it to be like there we want to hit compile save and we want to use to specify that we're going to use that camera character and our in-game controller in the same time so in our in-game mode we're going to specify that we want as player controller the in-game controller and the pawn we want our auto battler camera character and then in our map we want to use our game mode and we're going to specify that in our project settings our default mode is going to be the in-game mode as such so if we hit play uh, it seems it seems that it's working but we didn't had we didn't add a player start if we do we are located uh, as needed I would say so we're going to put that at zero 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 we're going to make that a bit bigger and we're going to add some kind of um, physical representation of the world space just so we can uh, actually we're going to make it so we have some kind of um, how to say re repre representation of how it's going to look in the future so maybe we're going to have our shop uh, maybe not like that maybe uh, maybe like this on the left we're going to have our bench uh, maybe like maybe like that I don't know and we're going to have our battlegrounds uh, I don't know maybe like that uh, maybe a bit bigger yep and what if we hit play now we're beneath the ground so we're going to put that above okay so that's not the proper yep that wasn't the proper rotation uh, and it looks like it might be the proper rotation but I want that to be angled more pretty much further away so I have a shortcut that I always use uh, and I'm going to implement it right now to put the game in uh, full screen in uh, auto battler controller the parent we're going to add real quick input P like this uh, execute console command and we're going to call that R set res uh, 1920 by uh, 10 80 like that yep so maybe I'm a bit too f too much far aw 
too far away uh, I'm going to reduce the field of view as well to 6 to 70 and I'm going to put that to 18 0 like that okay maybe the the angle is not correct like that so okay we have our camera uh, we do not see our mouse cursor so we're going to fix that in the power and player controller in the cl class defaults we're just going to say show mouse cursor like that so we have we have our mouse cursor now so we're going to drag and drop stuff buy stuff uh, repo reposition it stuff so it's not ideal um, it's not the ideal interface for now but uh, it's just a placeholder we just want to see how it looks like maybe we're going to implement the logic to switch from but I don't want to to be able to switch from screens to screens just because I don't like that mechanic in other battlers the fact that you can check what the others have I don't like the the gesture it, it requires and what it renders on screen seeing lots of things seeing lots of seeing the camera bump from a player to another real quick uh, I think I will rather implement a logic that shows the last state of the board of the player you're going to face in the battleground on the battleground like a ghost army of its previous setup and that's the only information you have so I'm not going to implement that mechanic sorry if it's disappointing the mechanic to switch view from a player to another you're only going to see your own battlegrounds <coughs> okay so uh, what do we have left to do for th the camera I guess I guess we're done with that uh, I think I think we're good with that so I think it's going to wrap up that video hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one bye bye